and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nocturne Nightfall. It's going to be our first deck today, day two of the Call of the Mountain expansion. We're going to be trying four new decks like we always do. We're playing four new decks every day. See them in the top left hand corner here. Uh, this one that I got to start with is going to be a deck built around uh, Nightfall with our champions Diana who cares about uh, activating Nightfall. And then, of course, Nocturne, who cares about attacking with Nightfall allies. So that's just pretty easy to put those two together. One is Shadow Isles, one is Targon. So there we go, that's our regions. Um, yeah, so we got basically got like all the, all the good Nightfall cards together. For the most part, our enablers for Nightfall are going to be the Lunari Duskbringer, Fading Memories, and of course the Duskbringer will create the Dusk Petal Dusk another uh, enabler for us fading memories and then it um i want to use burst mana or like i want to use spell mana with burst spells to help enable nightfall as well so we have unspeakable horrors and behold the infinite for that decide to go behold the infinite over other things like gems or anything like that because i just think that invoking is pretty powerful um decide to play this over uh glimpse beyond was uh, I thought about like Glimpse Beyond in this slot, but I want Behold the Infinite. I want to be able to play it like as my first thing during the turn proactively, unlike Glimpse Beyond, and then be able to play Nightfall stuff afterwards. And plus with Invoke, how we get to just choose, you know, any of the, the three Celestials. Sometimes we'll get um, late game super powerful Celestials, but a lot of times maybe we get like super cheap, uh, really effective Celestials that those can be just another card to help towards Nightfall. You know, if we get like a zero mana Celestial or a one mana um, something like that, that like the next turn that I can play like my one mana celestial and then play other stuff. So Behold the Infinite I think should work pretty well enabling Nightfall. Um, but then yeah, we'll have like our Doom Beast to drain them and like our Fading Memories to copy Doom Beast. So Doom Beast, Crescent Guardian, these are going to be big time cards as far as, um, as finishing the games out. And then I have one Harrowing at the top end. Definitely thought about the six mana 4-2 that um, Nightfall, you give it and another card elusive. But I'm going to try one Harrowing. <clears throat> Harrowing could be pretty interesting with Nocturne if you have like multiple Nocturnes that are dead and you just put these in play and um, everything. It does say when you play a unit, not when you summon a unit. So I don't think it works that great with Harrowing. But I don't know. Maybe some Noct Maybe like a bunch of Crescent Guardians that are 5 3 Overwhelms. Maybe the Harrowing's not going to be good. I don't know. It's a one of. There's a lot of different like cards at the top end that you can play for a finisher. Um, but I'm gonna just try a harrowing to start with. Okay, so we're gonna go play some games. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked as we test out all of these new decks and new strategies. We have Braum and Leona played by the Big Dum Dum. And we will see how our deck does. I like the first three cards. Am I keeping Lunari Priestess? Is the main question. And I think the answer is probably yes. Question mark? Don't really see any reason to play the Duskbringer, Duskbringer turn one. Definitely no reason to play Duskbringer turn one right now. I think that's one thing that people do in a night that people may do in a nightfall deck too much is play Duskbringer turn one. Um, you know, thinking, oh, well, we'll have the Dusk Petal Dust to enable nightfall. Well, you can also use the Bringer to enable nightfall, also. You can use this as two ways so to enable nightfall. I don't, don't really need to play it this turn. I can take one damage and be D. And now we will be able to play this and play this. And now by doing that, next turn I can play the Dust and the Priestess. Next turn. Okay, so if I have if I play Dust and then Priestess, and so now I have a two, you know, two mana Priestess out there. Yeah, 
If I fading memories that. Like, you know, it says two mana here. Will I get a new two mana priestess in hand? It'll be three mana. Man, y'all are no fun. I wanted a two mana priestess. Was that a mirror of starlight I saw? First light illuminates the land. Hmm. All right, I guess I'll let this happen. Certainly considering just going... So basically my main consideration is going with the Pale Cascade on something else and then being able to attack still with my 3-3 Elusive. I decided not to do that. Alright, I would like to obliterate an enemy, please. That Leona looks like it needs obliterating. Special cards are just super powerful. Alright, get another elusive in here. Start attacking with these elusives. We'll see if I get punished for not using the Falling Comet immediately on Leona. You do have to just be worried about Spell Shield as well. That's a real thing. First night. Daylight everlasting. Solari control all the hawa. Behold the divine power of the sun. Definitely hoping they don't have a spell shield. For my fallen comment. Levitation requires concentration. Huh. Not exactly an expectation that I have. A card for them to play. Yay! How can Brom help? I don't know. You could like go to the store, get us some ice cream or something. Devotion to battle. Go, floaty crystal. Good luck. Have fun. I know your true heart. This 
So my blocks are mostly about clearing up space. Alright, we gotta do 13 damage. We're gonna do a lot of damage. Um, assuming we get to attack and stuff. So I can play. Now nah, we. I mean, we're ahead on board, or well, with what we have. We can easily handle this. It depends on what they have in hand. Um, like, we, you know, this doesn't matter. We're gonna outrace them with elusives. Uh, which, what order do I want to go in? Uh, so seven mana, three, six, seven, eight, no. Okay, never mind. So we're on to Fading Memories. So I kind of want to Fading Memories, the Golden Sister. But then that, that takes up a lot of my turn. The light of my star warms the heavens. I'll have these Doom Beasts come down next turn, I guess. So I basically, you know, this this golden sister is ephemeral, um, so it's gonna die. So I, I'm gaining four life here, but then we're also letting their Brom level up. I think that's okay to let their Brom level up. Okay, yeah, they're just clearing out space. So right now we have four burn in hand. That current it could turn into more, or we could find more elusives. These stalking shadows are going to dig pretty deep for us. Make that eight burn. They're playing a Lunari Priestess in their Daybreak deck. Those cheaters. <clears throat> Nah, cheaters is the right word. Those, hmm, those non-believers in the daybreak. All right, Johnny Watcher. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, having champions. Yeah, we ain't gonna find no champions. So why would they challenge the 2-3 and not the 3-3? Three, three? Does that make any sense? Is it just me that finds that to not make any sense? I guess, okay, so they're scared of, maybe there's, no, because that costs, I have four mana, that costs five mana, I was thinking the Celestial that does four damage, and then one. Huh. You, 
You're gonna be big. Did I just get... Wait, what? Oh, I had no follower in the top four. Because that's where all my champions were. Oh. Hmm. tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. Gotta see that cool animation. All that you are told. Sunlight burns away all doubts. Well, that's pretty scary. No, you'll still shuffle the rest of your deck. I would assume. Maybe not. I don't know. My patience wanes. Yep, that's... My plan here is to win with the Doom Beast, for sure. I started with this, you know, make them a little worried about this thing, and maybe spending mana doing other stuff. That is a whole bunch of celestial cards, though, so that's pretty scary. Hopefully, they're all slow speed and units. Okay, there we go. All we need are four Doom Beasts to drain them out whenever they were at eight. Told y'all we'd get there with the elusives. And the drain. Ooh, we got rewards. What do we get? A uh, capsule. Epic wild card. All right, Nocturne Nightfall, 1 and 0. We finally, the very last turn of the game, drew a champion. Just played it as a distraction. Yeah, we don't have to worry about any fast speed spells. They, those are just, like, eliminated. It's all either just burst or slow. All right, what do we got? Got some good stuff, got some good stuff. We do have the attack token on turn two, which is normally where we'd want to play Diana on turn two for the challenger, but we're going to be doing what we did last game. I like this line. Rude. Favors the bold. Yeah, fortune's kind of a problem. I shoot. Uh, nope. Uh, that's what I was hoping they would do. Okay, so wait. So one. 
So then I can play Diana for one mana. And then Pal Pale Cascade. Temperamentalism. I was hoping they would do. Don't have another Nightfall card to level up Diana this turn. I could find one with the Stalking Shadows. Maybe the Elusive. Let's do that. Let's let's try that. A new phase awaits. Unseen, now it doesn't give Diana a challenger. Unfortunately, you'd have to play another Nightfall card for Diana to have challenger. But Diana is a 3 3 quick attack. So that's a cool little thing. I need more runs! Night descends! Playing the Powder Keg allows me to attack with this Onlooker, uh, which helps level up the Nocturne. I don't think that was a very good Powder Keg. With the pair, like, I mean, I, obviously we don't know what else is in their hand. But it does seem like maybe having a one drop would be better than one damage on Diana. But maybe not. We don't know what else they have. Um, so. I don't play this Shade Stalker as a blocker. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. Either go with a 5 3 Overwhelm. Okay, I think that answers my question. Let's leave with the 4 1 Overwhelm first. What do we got going on over here? Leona? Visions. Visions from memories, not my own. Bask in the light's radiance. So could spell shield and protect from that, but it makes more sense to play the Crescent Guardian to pump up the Diana and give Diana a challenger. Alright, elusive. Some overwhelm. Challenge this thing. Uh, no Rangers Resolve in those regions. Um, I kind of want to challenge in this fortune. So Leon is a little ways away from leveling up. Let's challenge the misfortune. Alright, sounds good. Oh, 
Because I'm not really playing very good defense over here. And I am worried about... Uh, definitely worried about that with the misfortune of my inability to play defense. Bask in her radiant blessing. The ocean whispers her secrets. Hmm. I guess it's that. It's just I, I don't really plan on turn 10 this game mattering. And I don't know, the Equinox isn't anything special. So I do three damage to them. I'm down to three. Not the most ideal turn, but I mean, we still are still in a commanding position. Invoking celestial cards, and that is always scary. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. So I guess we are going to a turn ten. Should have grabbed a ten drop before. Now they, see they really want me to take this them. silence they of follower card. You in all your faces. The ocean charts our course. Spell shield. And scout. Powder rocks. What's up? May all those who journey find what they seek. What once was two, now is one. So I have a couple of elusives. They're at three. We have a Doom Beast. We got the Spell Shield for protection. A Pale Cascade for other protection. Obliterate enemies with three or less power. Okay. So we can protect one with. Wait, no, no. We can protect two with this. Protect. Moonlight guide me. That's a Nightfall card, so that's gonna pump that one up. And I'll just let that thing be obliterated, that's fine. Opponent, where are you going? We are gonna be able to drink before. A full moon casts her light across the land. Alright, we 2 and 0. Oh. With our Nocturne Nightfall always winning with Nocturne deck. And never Nightfall. Leona Yasuo. So I'm playing Daybreak Discard later, a Leona deck. I want to play a, you know another Leona deck after yesterday. I've seen a lot of people playing it, Leona with the Yasuo, and I'm you know thought about it for a while today. I'm just not convinced that Yasuo is good enough or really improves the the Daybreak stuff better than other options. I'm going to be testing it out with discard cards today, but I, I think there's just other options and stuff. I just I don't know, I don't feel like Yasuo is powerful enough to go along with that. Now, that being said, I'm probably going to get destroyed by it, but that's what I was thinking. I'm going to keep all this. 
So we'll go Duskbringer turn one this time. Now I have two other enablers with these um, because I do I would like to play the Shade Stalker on turn two. And we, we like with us having the attack token on turn one, uh, there's more importance to play that on turn one. Think it fast. Cute. Temperamental as a moonlight. Invisible to the ignorant. For truth. Great curve, though. For them, great curve. Guiding, my See if they have champions on turn four also. I hope not. But maybe it's only me who doesn't get to ever draw champions. Maybe other... Death is like yeah, it looks like other people actually draw their champions. Um... So my plan here is like Serpent plus Pale Cascade to take down Yasuo. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Was that a glimmer of starlight I saw? Looks like I get to do that. You know, I don't. I want to see if they spend mana first, right? Like I don't want the Serpent to be my first thing to make it super obvious. Uh. Darn. When others threaten, we must take action. Hmm. Still have three mana left. Hopefully this works. Darn. Too bad. And Steel Tempest being a two mana card now. Great hand. Uh, great hand opponent, great hand. Yeah. Great one through four curve out and then double Steel Tempest. I think it makes more sense to play two 
three mana cards and playing Nocturne this turn. Next turn at seven mana is going to be a little awkward. Daylight star will rule the skies. Yeah, their, their life's pretty great. Maybe it was better to play the Nocturne, because then I could have had double thing. Yeah, actually, maybe it was better, better to play Nocturne. No, because we wouldn't have leveled up Nocturne. I don't know if I'm supposed to be as worried about Yone as Yone as much as I am, but I am a little worried about Yone of um, you know playing one of these things first and then and then Yone showing up. So expensive. Why would you play Deny when Spell Shield is available? They're in the region with Spell Shield. I think that's just a better Deny. But, I mean, we gonna lose. So they probably did have Yone. Man, they really had everything. GG's. So what's the plan? <clears throat> How do I survive this? I guess it has to be with Doom Beast and then block. Underestimate. I dare you. Here's our chance. Because that's eight. See, I need two. Like I need to block the eleven three. I need to block the six six. That's eight. So Doom Beast can give me the ten. Um. Cause I, yeah, I can't just play Fallen Comet. It has to be Doom Beast. Try to keep up. Unwavering strength. You were misguided. Now 
Next turn, nine mana. So Nocturne is four. This is five. Six, seven, eight. Charger is nine. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. Silver light. They don't have any more stun or any more removal. You know, they have no stun, no removal. Can we get there? Probably not, but we're gonna try. Okay, and that answer is no, because then that stuns. That would level up the... Di I guess that would just level up the Diana, and then they'd stun the next turn, and yeah, that doesn't work. I knew after I talked bad about that deck, I was going to lose to it. That, that's just how it always goes. But, I mean, I think the Daybreak and everything is awesome. And I, I just, I don't know. I feel like there's better things to do than Yasuo. If you have turn two that, you know, the Fey Blade Twirler and turn four Yasuo, obviously, and then your opponent has no removal, obviously they're, they're super good then. But... Um, I feel like there's better things, to, more consistent things to be doing. All right, let's see. This looks pretty good. A little short on enablers, but the Dustbringer, you know, so the Dustbringer is going to have to be multiple enablers for us. It does have that ability to be that. These will protect you. Heed the bomb. He's a Teemo with Targon buffs. What what buffs are you talking about with Targon buffs for Teemo? There, Eduardo. Off we go! go down. Man, our cards are so so nightfall that they're hidden. Look at this little Look at that little fearsome symbol it's our time. down here. Uh, I can't I can't get my cursor to highlight it. See, there it is. Surprise. Protector, shield me. In a support deck like this, yeah, it's good to just get units off the board. It's harder to support units when there are, you know, when the units are dead. You can't support them. Looking into the future, I see I'm not sure which one I want to play, the drain or the five three. I guess the 5-3 is the best, better earlier, and drains better later. This, of course, turns this into being a 3-3. So, like, they'll be able to trade. Pretty good one. I guess it doesn't make that much sense to play Diana this turn. And so with Tariq, possibility of Tariq coming down. I'm gonna actually just attack with both of those. 
Yeah. I'm playing any, any either of these before Tariq would hurt. Alright, well they're willing to go to nine. Willing to take it all. And not risk the young witch at all. So I have another Doom Beast that can drain another two. I have Fading Memories for that that can drain another two. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. To protect all. Never submit. Oh, I played the wrong one. Played the ephemeral one. Whoops. Whoops. They forced us to choose death or the blade. your own light within the darkness yours find your path in the dark and follow no false light free okay so I have four damage. Doom Beasts? Is it worth playing Doom Beasts pre combat? That's like really the question. Um, right now, they can only. They have three blockers to five attackers, so we have two things that could get in right now. And if it's like the two, two ones that get in, put them down to three and then double Doom Beast. Um, triple Doom Beast, I guess. But. A new phase awaits. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have blocked the ephemeral. My bad. They have removal, we have the skull shield. So we don't have to worry about that as much. Basically, I, I don't know, I guess I didn't block the ephemeral, but basically thinking that I was gonna be dead if we didn't kill them right away anyway. Why does this one have the nightfall thing? Together, we can do this. Why does it have that nightfall symbol? I haven't played anything yet. All beauty is transient. All right, just in case. All right, GG's three and one. The words of the heretic rang true. So we haven't done too much with Nocturne yet, but we've been doing some good stuff with Nightfall and the 3-2 the Drain, the Doom Beast, has looked pretty awesome. Alright, looks like we got Aurelian Soul plus Leona. So Daybreak with Aurelian Soul at the top. There is a Nocturne here, but this is a pretty slow hand. Not looking to do anything until turn three. Let's mulligan this. We'll try this out and just see how it goes with Nocturne. Okay. Um, Night we just have the attack token turn one. So while I li I'd like to use this again as, as multiple uh, ways to enable 
Nightfall, the fact that we have the attack up in turn one, we kind of got to do it right away. My faith protects me. Devotion through battle. So I know I can play the Shade Stalker, but if I play the Shade Stalker, then I'm not really playing anything turn three or really turn four. Ooh. So now I could go Dust and Diana and a Shade Stalker. Their scent travels in the night air. Interesting. You trespass on sacred lands, unbeliever. You know not the meaning of sacred. It means the next turn I'm going Stalking Shadows, Crescent Guardian, and not Nocturne. Clad in shining sunlight, night descends. Face your heretic. Yeah, they can have a spell that saves that and kills my Diana. All right. I think it's worth the worth the challenge. Make them have that. Hey, Darth Drew. Yeah, sorry, just for today. Just had a later stream. We'll be back on our normal schedule tomorrow with the earlier stream and everything. But just today, had the late stream start. Comet's just so expensive for my deck. Calm mind and open heart, greet the night. Oh, Mountain Scryer is awesome. I thought them having the 3 1, that wouldn't be the best to have the 5 3 overwhelm, but you know how that pairs up. Even good. We just do seven damage to them. I don't know. These celestials costing less is super scary. damage to them. Oh, and then they can't even block any of these. Alright, I should not have challenged. There could have been another six damage, put them down to four. First time really attacking with Nocturne, you know, gotta get used to these cards. Daylight star will rule the skies. As though day and night are not equal. Hmm. Course. 
Yeah, reducing the cost of the Celestials is definitely super scary. I really hope they don't have removal for my Nocturne. Find something cheap. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Reduce their cost. Or like reduce their power with all my fearsome stuff. They're just choosing not to play stuff. Is obviously scary. Definitely wish I had spell shield in, in hand. RB. Definitely wish I had spell shield in hand. Would a really insult be left dominant if you only reduced the minion or spell cost of celestials instead of anything? Um, like so. Okay, if it was one or the other, either units or I mean, yes. That answer is certainly yes. All right, so twenty damage. I don't think we're doing twenty. Oh, we are doing twenty. Okay, never mind. Well. Guess we might as well try for 20. No. You are beneath me. Twice Pill Cascade completely wrecked me. What's up, Nocturne? Fancy seeing you here. The dawn has arrived, and so has its overbearing warrior. I'm planning on going meteor shower, killing the mountain scryer and the three one. I know the other one's like a 4-3 elusive, that's a lot better than a 2-3, but I think that re reduction in cost, getting rid of that is very important. Ugh. Well, now I wish I would have got rid of the 4-3 and kept them with the 2-3 for this Cosmic Rays. So cosmic Rays will get rid of Diana and that thing for 8 mana. Or just have a Serpent. Uh, I guess I'll do that. Descend! 
Oh, that was my only Celestial card, was that 3-3. Three, three. Oh, I was looking at that and I was like, oh, I have a Celestial card, and I just blocked at that. That was... Oh, that was silly. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. That was silly. Abomination. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that was my only other celestial card, wasn't it? Shroud us. Forgive me. Hmm. This could have gone better. This game could have gone better. Both those pale cascades were devastating. Fortunately, my second nocturne was obliterated, so we'd only have one nocturne with the harrowing. If we end up bringing back the harrowing, they have had a lot of life gain. They've had 15 life gain so far, or more than that. Six from this thing. I know four from the lifesteal blocker. They played the thing that was gain five. Heal your nexus five, and then. Do something. Oh, they also played a Heal Your Nexus 2. So that's 17. They may have stricken... I guess they struck with the Heal thing twice, didn't they? I think they gained another 3, I think. I think they've healed their Nexus for 20. I think. A beam of light to pierce the heavens! Behold the divine power of the sun! Cool, Bimo. Cool. Yeah, a lot of my choices just really ended up backfiring against me. Wish, wish we could have done this one over. I'm gonna make the best choices. The mountain knows me. I am the but traveler. both of those pale cascades were game breaking. Uh, sure, Darth Crew. All right, donation deck for one. Uh, so a deck with they who endure and any of the new champions. Okay. All right, so from Darth Drew. Answer to me. All right, got it written down. Okay, on a weekday. I'll protect you. Be 
Cool. Well, probably next week. Um, but yeah, I will try to do that. Definitely thought about attacking with these two ones the previous turn. Now I wish I did. Yeah, harrowing, I mean, you know, we just have the one harrowing at the top end. Don't love it. Rekindler, that's certainly an option. Um There's a there's a lot of options that we could play with Targon also of, of nice large game breaking cards, but this one not looking so good. The sun's splendor revealed. What am I doing? Why did I not bastion that? I need to bastion that. That was really bad of me. I got my Celestial back. <laughs> now I can Cosmic Rays. frustrating game sometimes you just make wrong decisions quite a bit and that's that's what happens with new cards too you know like i uh that's the first time out of the five games first time that we actually played a nocturne game and i made some uh small mistakes there early on that really just allowed my opponent to stabilize um and yeah they they did heal about 30 life or so um that's true but that's all right um, but yeah, I liked I liked how our deck felt. I liked going towards the invoke cards. I think, you know, I was happy with Behold the Infinite. It definitely felt pretty strong. Um, and same with like the Priestess. I liked the Priestess in there, uh, also. So yeah, we have we have a pretty good aggressive start. We got some good. Um, uh, what's it called? Got some good finish with Doom Beast and our Elusives. I was definitely happy with Pale Cascade. We saw that last game, Pale Cascade, destroy us. Unspeakable Horror, not that happy with. Drain 1 doesn't seem that useful, like, in, in those five games. Um, I know it do can create another Nightfall card for us, but the Drain 1, um, you know, this could break up, like, a Spell Shield, but I think I would rather have that, that another Pale Cascade. That one looked... Like a real important card to have. Um, yeah, GG's. Yeah. Yeah, GG's. That, um, yeah, MG7 played great. They, yeah, our last opponent, they played really, really well. It was a good game. Um, uh, sorry, sorry, Zach. Yeah, just right at the end there. Um, so I would, I would take out an Unspeakable Horror for that. Uh, maybe just play one Unspeakable Horror. Maybe play a third Bastion to help protect... Nocturne. Definitely thought about, you know, like... So, yeah, I definitely think the night, night, the Pale Cascade, certainly necessary. Um, wondering, maybe... Um, that other, tar the new Targon card that's the plus zero, plus two. Sun Blessed Vigor. Maybe that instead of this other Unspeakable Horror. I could see that being better of just trying to help protect protect your Diana Cr 
Crescent Guardian and uh, Nocturne, you know, just, just protecting those things. A permanent buff. I think I think I would change that also. So a couple of small changes. Well, just basically one small change of taking out. Uh, but yeah, Stalking Shadows was quite good. Harrowing, yeah, Harrowing just doesn't seem necessary, right? I, I would like one, one larger help put away the game type card, but I don't know what that card should be. Maybe it's Rekindler, maybe it's Atrocity. Could have like a removal spell with the Sunburst of Vengeance. Rasa seems pretty sweet these days. Um, but then also maybe it's the... Um, maybe the Cygnus would, would be a good just finisher as... You know, 4-2. That it can be elusive. You give something else elusive. Because with the Cygnus, maybe you give, like, Diana elusive. That Diana turns into, like, having a whole bunch of power. You know, maybe, maybe that's a thing. Probably not with spending 6 mana on Cygnus. Probably not. But that could be a thing. Or, you know, Nocturne giving that elusive. I think I would... I think that's what I would go with instead of the Harrowing playing a Cygnus, the Moonstalker. And give this one a try. But yeah, 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 exactly. I thought we could have a little bit more protection. So I want another Cascade, another Sun Blessed Figure um, over those other two, and then this other Cygnus. So there we go. That's Nocturne Nightfall. Pretty sweet deck here. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. Other decks you want to see here on stream, any champion combinations anything else you are enjoying with the new set. Thank you so much for watching though, and I'll see you for the next video.